conversion so far this year. This all really started with Maroney only getting out to the 16 yard line on the kickoff return and they really never got their offense in gear on their first possession. Will punt around his own 15. Got away a pretty nice kick. Lowry's going to have a chance at it though at the 32 yard line. Lowry dances for three or four and he's run out of bounds. We've seen this guy play a fifth year senior <laughs> Michael Robinson but he's played a lot of different positions. Now you know at least where you're going to find him usually at yes. quarterback. Yes. He started 20. This is his 23rd start but only his 11th start at quarterback. And he is the guy. He is the swizzle that starts this whole thing going sometimes for good and a lot of times for bad. At the 36, he drops the throw on first down. The big strike offense is trying to score right away. Incomplete. And we're going to have pass interference Defense. on Minnesota. So far this year. They've got a first down already in Minnesota territory at the 49-yard line. Now it's Robinson from the gun. And he's going to keep it. They'll run it 8 to 12 times today with a quarterback. Got four. Just outside the Minnesota 45 yard line. Again from the gun. This time he'll hand it off to Tony Hunt. Hunt a big hole up the middle. First down Penn State at the Minnesota 36 yard line. Sold out for this Big Ten home opener for the Nittany Lions who are taking on the 18th ranked Golden Gophers of Minnesota with Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. If you're just joining us from the Michigan Michigan State game a win by Michigan in overtime here we've just gotten underway. Minnesota was three and out on its first possession had to punt it away then a pass interference call put the ball in Minnesota territory and that's the first official first down for the Penn State offense at the 36. Robinson in trouble. Michael Robinson scrambling around and he'll be knocked out of bounds in the hands of Penn State. Here's the big fellas up front. Levi Brown, Rush, Andalik, and Reed and Wilson. And Levi Brown's the best of the group. Tony Hunt, the tailback, Snows, the fullback, Smolko, the tight end, and Derek Williams and Deion Butler. Just two of about six young receivers that you'll see a lot of on the afternoon. Again, Robinson not under center. Time to throw over the middle, completes it. Derek Williams, there's one of the young guys we talked about. Got about 12. On a second and 13, they'll be a yard oh, short. Minus five in their turnover ratio. Here's a toss sweep, Tony Hunt. Got the fullback out in front of him, and he got the had pretty good field position, then got an interference call. Now they've moved it with back to back first downs. Here's Tony Hunt on the ground, and Hunt bangs his way. And now they've got Williams as a tailback in the backfield behind Hunt on the option. Robinson keeps it, takes a big hit. And he's got the first. If you don't use Michael Robinson's legs when he's out there, you're missing something. There is his numbers on the year rushing. This time he pitches it to Williams. Boy, a dangerous touch. And he did. Touchdown. Not only are we expected to see number 12 carry it several times, but they want this kid to get his hands on the ball, too. The electrifying freshman, Derek Williams, 13 yards, touchdown. Boy, they did it in a variety of ways. And nothing is better than having speed like this kid. 7-0, Nittany Lions. Receiver lined up as the eye back. Watch as he's going to get the pitch from Robinson. Little option down the line. Number two is a wide receiver. Look what he sees in here. He sees his lane back to the inside. This kid was a quarterback in high school, was an athlete coming out. The best, he was the number one prospect in all of the nation. Penn State got him and he got another kid named uh, Justin King. Play action, keep it on. First down throws to his tight end, Spate. Lawrence Moroni is yet to get going. Second down and four. They give it to him and he tries to cut it back to the left side. Third and two Minnesota, their second possession. Still looking for a first down. They're still looking for a first down. Holy stops. The Gopher offense. Tom Bahali, Alfred Paxson, and Rice, the front wall. The linebackers are good ones, especially Pazlesny. Sales and Shaw join him in the secondary. Good guys on the corners. A lot of experience in Midas and Phillips. Lowry and Harrell are the safeties. Tom Brown and another punting situation for Cusack. High kick this time. Really hung it up in the sunlight. 
Down to the 23-yard line as well. But I think the young people, the young players that are really playing well, has got everybody excited. Here's Robinson. He's pretty exciting, too, even when things break down. Robinson running. They can have a three-and-out period. And their defense was on the field a lot in their win over Northwestern last week. They, they That's played. why Penn State's had a lot of turnover. Here they are with five wide outs, but it's Robinson on a quarterback draw, and he's got a first down out across midfield. Pick up. Let's go ahead and start this. Watch the from the end zone. It's just the offensive line blocking up front. And then that's 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 just great blocking. Pick a hole for your for your quarterback. Yards. This time we'll give it off to Tony Hunt in Minnesota territory again. Robinson, quick drop. Now he's going to take off another quarterback draw. Defensive lines. He looked out there to throw it, and, and I don't think I think it was just a draw because what are the down to the 31 yard line. Robinson, nice play pick, got level as he threw, and he overthrew his intended receiver. Third down and long situation for the Nittany Lions. Robinson has plenty of time. Finds his man, it's Butler. Butler, nice move to the inside. He's got a first down. He made two guys miss out there in the open field, or they would have stopped him for sure. Third and 10. You don't have to throw the ball downfield 10 yards. If you can throw underneath, and you have some guys like but Butler and Williams and King who can take as the tailback. Already seen more of this than we did last week. Here he is on the toss sweep. Got the corner. Great speed inside the 15 and dive. Great football player. Give me a chance and I'll shine. <laughs> He's shining already again today. Robinson to the corner, throwing a fade. A little bit of a collision. This will be a 29-yard field goal attempt for the left footer out of Uniontown, Ohio. Kick on the way. And it's up and good. So Penn State scores on its opening two possessions of the ball game. Hit the field goal with a kickoff. Should be returnable indecision there. Taken by Wallace at about the five. Littlest guy on the goal for team. Off to the races. Wallace down the sideline. They'll run him out of bounds, but not before. Kubelow, quick drop, thrown to the corner, got a man out there, and he's got some more yards. Ellison in motion, third and nine. Kubelow in the pocket is sacked. Jay Alford from his defensive tenator. Ten starters return from last year. Paxson comes right up the middle, but it's Alford, as you make four. Try to put Minnesota on the board, and it doesn't have a chance. Not even close. Minnesota at the 34-yard line. Austin Scott in at the tailback spot. He's going to get the call on the draw. Little quick opener and Scott who came out of that backfield. Robinson with time again. Wide opens a tight end. Smoke goal rumbling down the sideline. And he's going to not going to be where they're supposed to be. At the 35, three-step drop. Zips it out complete. This time to Butler inside the Europe. And uh, the Arena League has seen a lot of different football locations. But this is where he plays. Robinson play action being flushed out of the pocket on the run. He'll keep it, tuck it. Oh, what a collision with Owens. And Owens got the worst of it. And Owens is the big hitter from the Minnesota secondary. Now we just hope he's okay because that looked like it was collision of had played weak side linebacker up until the time he took over at strong safety. Watch the end of this. Oh man. Jeez. That's oh. that's terrible. I mean, obviously, it's a collision sport, not a contact sport, but you don't want to see those kind of collisions. Yeah, Mike Robinson, I like the call. Tony Hunt will get the call. He's got the first and more. Michael Robinson out at the six yard line. He drops to throw. He's going to fire it. Incomplete. The nose hit the ground. Now, yeah. Glenn Mason playing the odds here because they are going to review it. As a referee, uh, know who you can trust. Robinson's going to keep it himself now. Tosses it, Derek Williams, and around the freshman touchdown. This is lined up in the slot. Quarterback's going to come and pitch it back, but watch the wide receiver on this side as he gets a block, and he doesn't rush to get there. He knows it's going to take some time to get around. There's the toss. 
Now here's the block of the wide receiver. The tackle also comes out and gets a block. Not only is it a, a well-designed drive, and number two is becoming number one in the Penn State fans' minds. 17 nothing, Nittany Lions. Or Cupido has to do it with his arm. Cupido to throw, to throw it to Maroney. Tough catch. Got about a yard. Did he even get it? And he'll give it off on the ground, Maroney. Cupido down the middle, got it to his tight end. Second down and two. Maroney. Maroney back in there at the tailback spot. Cupido, quick drop, quick throw, completion inside the 40, down to the third. Second and seven Gophers. Toss sweep could be an end around coming. Fumble. Penn State's got it. Minnesota mishandled it, and Jay Alford stayed home, and he's got the fumble recovery. Maroney trying to get it to Wallace. Yeah, I like the call. Wallace just doesn't hold on to the football. You know, Brad, a lot of times when this, when you have this reverse, when a, when a receiver's coming a long way, I always like to pitch. Just throw the ball up in the air and let the guy catch the it. season more than likely is over, but at least he's able to go back to the locker room and his own power. Michael Robinson into the secondary. Spins over. Robinson. And Robinson's already outgained Minnesota's offense, and here he goes again. Now hold your breath and see which one of the young guys is going to get his hands on it. His hands on it. <laughs> Jordan Norwood, who we just <laughs> talked to. Freshman for the Gophers back at about the 10 yard line. Kaplan is just going to try to hang it to the corner. And boy, what a job by Lowry. Caught it mid flight. That's a, a big plays in this ball game because Minnesota now has to take over from their own two yard line. Won't be a wide receiver catch one any better than that today. Minnesota in a hole and in a hole. 17 to nothing, Penn State. You just want to make first down. Cupido play action, going to go deep. Here's one out, got a man out there, and he might have been tripped. Nope, something. It's just like a punt. Now you got to be careful. Quarterback draw, Cupido. At the 47, Penn State goes to work. Robinson lost it out for Butler, and he got it! At the 25-yard line, a diving catch. Calling the plays, it's a great time, especially when you've got good field position. Go for the big play down the field. Great layout by Butler. Butler's a red shirt freshman. So. Robinson running for his life. A lot of gophers chasing. Play and letting the clock run. Here's Robinson back to throw. He's had all day to throw. Minnesota's got no pass rush to, to add to Penn State's lead. A kick on the way, and it looks like he got it, and he did. When it's going right, it's going right. The freshman. And Penn State. With a big edge in time of possession and total yardage, and Minnesota just trying to back what they're doing and just come up and make tackles. Second down at six. Cupido in trouble. Scrambles now. He'll keep it. Third down and two. Cupido drops back and wants to come back the other way. Wheel rights out there. He's got it. Touchdown. Ernie Wheel juggled it and caught it. And it's a 49 yard touchdown for the Gophers. That'll yeah, get him right back in it. Champion stuff on there anymore. <laughs> Second down and eight. Here's Tony Hunt. Little quick opener. Got it right out. As Robinson will take it. Run it off the right side with a second and ten. And he'll keep it on the ground now. It's Tony Hunt. Hunt into the secondary. Got it all the way to midfield. Purdue with a big loss last week. Gonna go deep down the left sideline. Man out there. Almost had it. It's Butler. Jamal Harris makes another nice play. Jamal drops back. He might try it again. He's just going to go deep out, and he's got his man now, and that might be field goal range. At least they can give him a crack at it. to be about a 51-yarder with a second. Not a field goal. Here's Kelly from 51. Kick on the way. Not this time. 
pushed it to the right. So no further damage done to the Gophers, but they gave the freshman kicker a crack at it. He hit one earlier from 47. Let's check in with Swan. Reason to smile anyway. 20 to 7 at halftime. John Craig and Aaron will be pass that along. They'll kick away, and the kick will go to Derek Williams on the run at the five. Here he is, the guy that scored two touchdowns in the first half. Found a little seam. Boy, every time he kicks it. At their own 24-yard line. Robinson, quick drop, quick throw. Out across the 30. And it's Derek Williams. Look at the rushing yardage total on the top there. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that? Uh, we thought it'd be the other way around. Exactly. In the time of possession, six minutes more in favor of Penn State than Minnesota. Turnovers were only one for Minnesota. Pick up a nine yards on the opening pass play from Michael Robinson to Derek Williams. Second down and a yard. Williams in motion toward the ball to give straight up the middle to Tony Hunt. Tony's got a first down. So it's about 105 it down there. <laughs> it physically takes something out of you. And mentally you may want to come back, but physically you can't. Tony Hunt, tough run. Not only got a first down, ran over a would-be tackler on the sideline in route. A 14-yard gain for Tony. I want quarterbacks to complete every throw. Robinson keeps it on a counter. Fake the handoff to Hunt. Goes for out of the shotgun on third and six. Robinson just had all day to throw, whether it's out of the shotgun or dropping back. And he's got his receiver again. The butler did it again. Stopped, and the ball was there. This time the throw was on target, and it's an easy first down and a nice little move there at the end by the red shirt freshman. Option and around to King, the man I just mentioned. Got the corner. Inside the 25, the 20. He's got it all the way down to the 10-yard line. So now I like the timing of the call. I like the execution. I really like the pitch. Not a handoff, just a little pitch. And then the blocking out front. That's Reed, 74, the guard getting out there. I tell you what, it all goes back to Galen Hall and the offensive coordinator, the offensive staff, and of course, Joe Paterno. Different look to this whole Notre Dame team, even the veterans. Here's Robinson on the run. And still going. Robinson, those guys forward. Second down. Tony Hunt. Touchdown. Penn State on the scoreboard again. This time, their normal tailback scoring. Or more in the first half all year. Here he comes, and he's got a little bit of room, and he takes a couple of would be second down and a dozen for the Gophers. Cupido trying to get it. Maroney dropped it. All the same. We've got kryptonite right here now. We've got we've got this stuff that they don't like. They don't like to be able to have to throw the ball. They want to run the ball, and they can't run it. They're in trouble. Group it over the middle, got it to the tight end speed. Cupido going down the sideline, and his receiver had broken off his pattern, courtesy of Justin King out there. Cover. This is where Penn State, as Swanee said, like to put together a long drive, at least timing-wise. He would have loved to put a knee down before he slid out of bounds. Second and three. It's another first down run for Hunt. Boy, he's tough. A lot of those yards have been the end of rounds. That's where they're getting a lot of the yards and quarterback draws like this. Robinson, great move to the outside. Got a block and got a first down. And a After the play was over, personal foul on a defense in the 46. It's Michael Robinson's show right now. Here's a toss. Williams trying to cut it outside. Got the corner. Might have it first and goal. 56 yards, and he's got two or three touchdowns on the way. First and goal, Tony Hunt's going to score without being touched. Everybody in the act. Tony Hunt hunting for the end zone for the second time today. It's 34 7, Nittany Lions playing tougher teams in the second half of the year, but that's usually the Big Ten schedule, too. And the string they have put together, starting with this one, what a hit. Championship one time in all those years. That ball 
tipped as well. Jay off of second guy. down at 10. Out of the shotgun, here's the handoff to Tony Hunt. Same play, he ran for a touchdown, and this one's a big gainer right across the 35. When you get to spend an hour, an hour and a half with Joe Paterno, it's always fun. In and out of the hands of Smoko, the tight end. Plug it into his iPod. He says, people don't bother me that way. They think I'm listening to music. Here's a throw complete. Terrell Golden, and Golden's got a first down. That's a great story. Here's a toss sweep. Derek Williams at the corner. And got down to the four. He's done wrong today. Goes over the middle. This time complete again. And it's a first down to Derek Williams. 13 points uh, last week was fun for you. It was fun. Robinson. Flag throw is going to be interference on Jamal Harris. Ethan Kilmer was the intended receiver. Flanking Robinson in the shotgun, and Austin gets the call. Left side, inside the five. He was smelling it. Figure drive for Penn State. Robinson rolls, throws, incomplete. And Robinson keeps it on the counter, and he's going to go down. And Penn State has just come in and dominate. Kevin Kelly with a 21-yard field goal to add the two previous ones. Three out of four on the day, knocks it through. New Boilermakers trying to battle back from their loss to Minnesota last week. Should be a dandy. Starts at 745 Eastern to Gary Russell in the Minnesota backfield now. And for Moroni. Look out, keep it over behind. Trying to get to Jakari. Kevin Lowry, he's been all over the field on special team. And Lowry just made a big hit on the last play. Down the middle they go, Minnesota. Lowry makes the tackle, but it's a first last week between special teams and defense. That's a lot of football. Moroni. Trying to get into the second down to seven Penn State. Ryan Cupido, Minnesota, back throw long for wheel right. Wow. Justin King almost caught up with that. The freshman who plays it's LeVar Arrington. Here's a draw play. Maroney trying to finally get outside. Only got eight or nine. I'll have more on that story later. Swanee has a theory. Here's Maroney. And he swallowed up again on fourth down. I don't know. It's an invasion. <laughs> and that is uh, he said 10 o'clock in Minnesota, rather, at the 21 of Penn State. And inside the 15, driving is Gary Russell. Tough yards. Russell again. Inside the five and down. Sons play here and be stars at Penn State. Russell, oh man, is he met in the hole? Puzlozny, it's got to be him. See if number 31 gets off the bottom of the pile. There he is. Paul Puzlozny, a junior, a junior captain. That's something else you don't say at Penn State. At least you have to go all the way back to Mike Reed and Steve Smear in the late 60s. Watch this hit. 1968 since, oh, look at oh. Over the top. You were talking about uh, he's a nice, quiet guy. <laughs> Stand <Not> there. <laughs> That's a great hit. A little bit different on the field. Third and goal at the two. And around and touchdown Minnesota. Jakari Wallace, nice play call. Russell went in the line. Wallace, the speedster, around in for two yards and a touchdown. From Minnesota over to Pennsylvania. And not had much to cheer about so far today. Here's Butler on the catch. Yeah, but the next two weeks, Ohio State and Michigan. That'll tell you a lot about this Penn State team. Ohio State comes here, they have to go to Michigan. For defense. Tony Hunt cuts it outside. There was nothing yeah, inside. Yeah, and sometimes you don't want to give them too much mentally because you take something away from them physically. Uh, neighbor's basement that's shackled down there. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> oh, I don't even know who it is. The season, the first three or four or five games of the year. They talk about number 14 is having as good an arm. And on the corner is Austin Scott down the sideline. And he's got a first down for this. All Penn State has been all day, really. 37-14. Some of the reserve guys in get some work. And running it and running it hard. This time the fullback still on his feet. Matt Hahn, he put it on the ground at the end of the play. And all the way down to the 10-yard line. See, these guys are carrying it because they don't want to give Morelli a chance to throw it. Here's Kinlaw on the corner. Touchdown! Rodney Kinlaw runs the Penn State rushing total to 350.
57 yards. That's it. Five minutes, 38 seconds remaining in the ball game. It is impressive state, as impressive as we've seen him in a long, long time. The drift, and it's pretty good, pretty good poster over there. Time permitting, thrifty car rental postgame report with John Craig and Aaron. Nice throw down the middle. This team is a year away. They returned 19, 19 starters from last year. Cupido running for his life throws it away because I think they even question. You know, you do when you play and you have to come from behind against a team that you're supposed to be. Fourth down in a yard for Minnesota. They get it. And here's an opener for Russell and Russell into the secondary. And Russell has looked at a 1 o'clock preceding golf on ABC. Cupido throws it out in the flat. Kyle Wallace made the catch. Tough one for the Aggies. Cupido to the corner of the end zone. And it's intercepted by Penn State. Tony Davis with the interception in front of Micah Rucker. Tony Davis, another freshman. 21 freshmen have played this year already for Penn State. Here coming up shortly. Morelli will give it off. And it's Kinlaw who scored earlier. He dances around and he's got about three yards. <laughs> Kinlaw inside, and we're down under him. Cavanaugh's kick. Fielded, bobbled, picked up, maybe not even picked up, and not down, and that's the end of the ball game. Penn State wins it, and wins it handily. 44-14 to 14 is the final score. Happy group of Nittany Lions. Joe Paterno wins another one. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. For Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long from State College. Once again, the final score, the Nittany Lions 44, the Golden Gophers 14. Let's now join John Craig.